Hey welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at running a 64 bit kernel on your current raspbian operating system so as we know the raspberry pi 3 does not uh, run the 64 bit kernel it runs the same kernel as that of the uh, raspberry pi 2 and that's a uh, arm v7 base kernel which is just arm um, 32 bit now to actually go ahead and do this would not be very beneficial as as the user land side of things will all be 32 bit so it would be very difficult to execute a 64 bit command but we'll also look into that so let's go ahead and get a 64 bit kernel installed on the raspbian os so for that first of all we'll need to uh, go to this particular website i'll link it in the description and here it says that uh, this package contains the kernel and the uboot partition so we'll just uh, copy its link ad address and go to our terminal and just type in wget and paste the download link and press enter so of course downloading that particular file it will give us the kernel as well as our third stage bootloader that is required to boot this particular kernel so we'll just wait for it to finish downloading now uh, what we need to do is open up uh, the file manager and i'll make it as less uh, requiring of any sort of command line and more gui based as possible uh so we'll just uh, extract here we'll open it with a uh, archiver and once it's done we can see uh two folders inside the main folder and that's boot and lib we'll take both of them and uh copy them outside uh one by one all right so with that done now we need Uh, root permissions on the file manager so for that simply type sudo pc man fm and that will open up our file manager as a root uh, user so now we have to go into our boot uh, partition press control a selecting everything right click create a new folder with the name of old or, or whatever you want we'll just creating a backup in case things go extremely horribly wrong uh, and so uh, we have a fail safe to a uh, boot boot back to our raspberry pi and then here just simply paste everything so we now have now we can safely delete uh, everything else and then go ahead to our home pi folder and here we have the boot folder now in the boot folder there is firmware double click on to the firmware and control a select everything copy and copy it to the boot partition now with that done uh, let's go back to our home pi now open up the lib partition uh, and open up modules select this folder so this is the kernel modules for kernel 4.5.0 and go ahead and on to our root uh, directory and inside lib of course go into modules and simply paste it here now again go back to our pi home uh, folder go into lib go into firmware go into b uh, bcrm copy both the files and then go back to the root folder and lib firmware brcm and paste them and overwrite the files so with that done simply reboot the raspberry pi and you will have a 64 bit kernel so let's do that Now one thing to note while the Raspberry Pi is booting with the 64 bit kernel is that it's going to take a very long time and since the kernel is not really optimized for the Raspberry Pi 3 it will actually be a lot slower uh, than the actual Raspberry Pi 32 bit kernel which is probably uh, optimized for the hardware so this is just one of the things you might want to try as an experiment 
uh, under unless you have a user land that is properly uh, 64 bit not a lot is going to work but we'll see if we can actually go ahead and you know execute some 64 bit files So that's about it for today's video and hope you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one